Hi guys, my name's Emily Brown. Um, my husband is actually in airborne school at Fort Benning. Um, we are getting stationed in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and they assigned us a house in Hammond Hills. So I'm actually going to do an empty house tour for you guys. So, um, yeah. So out here, there is a little storage room. Um, it really looks kind of dirty, but I guess it's okay. There is a light. Um, so there's that, and then there are, um, there's a trash can and a recycling bin, and then so here's what the house looks like. Um, so you come in, there is a doorbell, um, there is a mailbox, so they will come put your mail in your mailbox, which I think is really neat, you don't have to go out to the road. Right when you come in on the left, there is a um, room that you can put your washer and dryer and all of your um, detergent and all in there. There are hookups for both of them. Um, so then that's right to the left. You come in to the right. There's the kitchen. There's a refrigerator and freezer. Um, it does have an ice maker in it. And um, this is the rest of the kitchen. There's a bar. And then it just kind of makes a circle on the other side. There's a sink. Um, there's a little pantry type area, a dishwasher. Um, you keep going, there's a stove. It does not come with a microwave, so we're gonna have to get a microwave. Um, but so then you keep coming. This is kind of what the inside of the pantry looks like. I think that's plenty of room um, for your canned goods and snack. And then there is a water heater closet, but there's actually quite a bit of space in here. If you needed it for storage, you could put your um, vacuum and broom and stuff like that in there. So then, so you come in here, this is the um, dining room, living room area. So there's this really weird brick wall. Um, but anyways, so this is a brick wall, the vinyl floor, and um, this one does have a chandelier. You keep going. Um, there's a door that goes outside. And then this, the living room area, I think is wonderful, it's humongous. Um, then the bar, you can put bar stools up there. Um, and then, so I'll show it to you from this way. Um, the really weird thing is there is no light in the living room. There's one over there in the dining room, but there is no light fixture in the living room. But, I mean, I guess you could get, like, lamps and stuff and put up in here. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what that looks like. It cuts off halfway between and has carpet on one side and vinyl flooring on the other. So I think that's really neat so that you can put a table over there. Um, there's all these windows up against this wall, and then there's a door that goes outside to the back porch. Um, so this is what the back wall looks like. We do not have a fence put in yet. We are gonna get one eventually um, for both of our two dogs. So you come around this way, there is a floodlight, which I think is nice. You can let the dogs out at night and stuff. Um, and comparing to the size of our neighbor's fence, looks like the fenced in area will be pretty big. She said it would go all the way around to the end of the house. Um, so I think that'll be perfect for our lab. But so you come back in and there is a hallway. So we're back at the front door. There's a hallway, um, so you come down the hallway. The first door on your right is a closet, a massive closet. This closet is huge. Like, I told the lady that I was gonna make this my closet for my clothes and shoes and everything else. Um, but that is humongous. You could put anything in here. Um, so then you keep going. There is, to your left, there's the bathroom, um, the guest bathroom, and then it has a full tub and shower. Um, and she told us that we can replace the shower heads if we want to. Um, it's so echoey in here. But then there's a another light right there, and then another light and fan over the shower, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so then you keep going, and this is the guest bath, the guest bedroom. I'm sorry. So there's your bathroom on the left, your guest bedroom on the right. Um, this wall juts out a little bit, which makes this the smallest guest bedroom. Um, but the closet space is not bad at all. So, um, plenty big enough for like a full size bed, even a queen size bed would be perfect in here. So you keep going. This is at the end of the hallway on the left. This is the master bedroom. Well, it's meant to be the master bedroom. Um, there is a ceiling fan in here, unlike in the other rooms. This is the closet. Um, it's not as big as the first closet in the hallway, but it still is a pretty decent size. It's bigger than the other one in the um, guest bedroom. So I think that'll be plenty big enough for me and my husband and our clothes. Um, 
So then you keep going. There are windows right here and up there on the wall. Um, and then the master does have its own bathroom. So you come in, it's the same thing with the lights. There's a fan, a light and a fan, and then a um, light over the sink. And this one is not a tub, but it is a shower. And I think from looking at the floor plans, I thought the shower was gonna be tiny, but it's actually quite a bit bigger than what I thought it would be. Um, plenty enough room to like shave your legs or whatever you need to do in there. Um, and then the sink is not huge, but it is decent, like it's okay. Um, so then you come back out of here and the last room is, well, first of all, at the end of the hallway, there's a closet, just another like linen closet. You can put towels or blankets, whatever you need to do in there. Um, and then there's the last bedroom. This bedroom is huge. Like it's almost the same size as the master. I would think if not even a little bit bigger, um, but the closet is actually a little bit smaller than what the master is. So, um, this would be perfect for like a guest bedroom or even like if you have an older teenager, um, that would be perfect for them. I would probably make this my guest bedroom and then the master our bedroom and then the other guest bedroom or dog's room, put their crates and all in there. Um, and so yeah, there's you the house. There's a thermostat and, um, I'll run through it again. This is like a big loop, kind of. It goes around the living room and back to the hallway through there. So I think it's really cool that this space is so open. Um, we'll probably put our couch like around that corner or something and then put the TV over here or something. Um, get some bar stools to put here. Anyway, so yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, you can comment and I will try my best to answer them. But there's you guys, your house tour. Um, I'm in Hammond Hill. Hi guys, so um, I'm on my way actually back to Georgia and I was editing my video and I remembered a few things that I did not tell you guys. So I'm not sure if it's just for Hammond Hills or if it's for every neighborhood, but in Hammond Hills, they um, actually offer free mulch and free grass seeds. So I know the front of the house looks a little bit run down, um, but that's an easy, easy fix. We just go get some mulch and put it out there in the flower beds and then um, we can get some grass seed and put that out there as well. Um, and it'll liven up the front of it a lot. And also I did take um, measurements of all of the rooms and most of the windows. So if you guys, if you're interested in that, just let me know in the comments and um, I will try my best to get back to you with those. So um, again, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed it.